Hi there guys and welcome to this video today we're playing of Dundee FC vs Red Rovers here at Dens Park. We've been to get to Dens Park for quite a long time now so finally we're here which is um, you know, it's great to be here after two times missing out so you know fi finally here um, for Dundee FC vs Red Rovers. Dundee FC currently sit top of the league like I said, um, currently sit top of the league on goal difference and um, just ahead of Queen's Park with 54 points. And if they win today, they can go three points clear as they do have a game in hand over Queen's Park, and this is their game in hand. So, a really big, big opportunity for Dundee FC today to you know, possibly push on and really cement themselves in that title race for the crucial last game, you know, final match at the end of the season against Queen's Park on May 5th. So, hopefully, we'll be in the sense of that. So, yeah, that's an enormous match for Dundee FC today. And Wraith Rovers currently sit seventh, four points behind. Sixth place, Greenwich Morton. So you know, a win today could you know close that gap, maybe push on. But Dundee FC definitely have a lot more to fight for in this match, and they've got some good, good players starting today. Zach Robinson, like I highlighted in some of my previous Dundee FC matches, on loan from AFC Wimbledon, and Luke McGowan as well, who was a star in the SPFL last season, and might start tonight, tonight and what we'll So like I said, hopefully have a lot of goals and a lot of action. And a little bit of analysis into players today. Today starting, like I said, highlighting so many seasons for in our championship pictures, especially our Red Rover pictures. Aidan Connolly with 15 goal contributions in 30 appearances so far in the championship. And for Dundee FC, there's Zach Robinson with 13 goal contributions. 30 goal contributions in 25 appearances in the championship for Dundee FC. So two players to watch out for today. And, you know, like I said earlier, big, big game for Dundee FC to make it three points clear at the top of the league. We'll have to see, you know, like I said for how it's a big, big game. The free throwers, not so much. There's still a lot to fight for and a push for a possible playoff space. And they are about five, six points in drift from that. So a big, big game for Gary Bauer's side. But also a good opportunity, a good opportunity, like I said earlier, for Ian Murray's side. So we'll have to wait and see. And hopefully, like I said, we still have a lot of goals and a lot of action. Crazy, 
but a really good performance from Dudley FC in the first half. Maybe if a little bit more clinical, you see them getting about you know, three or four possibly goals in that first half. So if they get their passing on point and clinicality in the second half, then you know this could go this could go crazy. But we'll have to see. And then break forwards, I suppose it's up to other level of performance, get a little bit more me- momentum and tempo behind them. But we'll have to see. Hopefully in the second half, like I said before, we have a lot of goals and more action. Yeah, hopefully, you know, the 
it, it gets a little bit warmer. No, focusing back on it this much. Yeah, like I said, really, really good performance from Don DMC, as I've said earlier. From you know start to finish, really showing the, the, their strengths and the capabilities, and not just you know being a, a, a quality championship side, but you know being a, a quality Premiership side, which will be in for next season. Of course, you know they have to secure promotion first. But I don't think Um, another really good res result today, and of course, you know, we've had some good results, like I said earlier, six games unbeaten now. Do you think that shows the strength and belief in the squad just for the remainder of the season, and arguably the most, the biggest game of your season against Queen's Park in just a couple of weeks' time? No, we, we just uh, concentrate on the next game. I think, um, like you say, we've won six games unbeaten, and all we've done with that is to just adopt that philosophy of the next game and just give us all, give our all and as much energy as we can and, and then hopefully our quality shows through like we have done tonight so we we'll recover now we'll enjoy tonight but then get ready to go again on saturday with you beating some top sides this season like queen's park just a couple of weeks back and you know really in certain points of season looking like you might push for a playoff place um, for next season, how do you feel you get that consistency right and then push on for a playoff place or even promotion? Yeah, I think um, we've had moments this season where we have done really well, but I think the big difference is our squad depth. We have two subs tonight. Uh, one's a, a young player as well who hasn't got much experience, and one's a player returning from injury, so that's happened us um, pretty significantly, especially when you come to places like uh, here in Inverness and Saturday, playing against really physical sides who've got great experience. Um, so yeah, it's, it's probably caught us, caught us with us a little bit, which I've always thought it would do, uh, which is good. 